Assalamu alaikum grade 8. Today we are doing constructions again and we are drawing a perpendicular from a point to a line. Okay, And I have told you that always when we need to do something in maths, first we need to read the English and understand what is this telling me to do. Right? So we need to revise what is a perpendicular. So if I draw a line A, B and a line C, D, right? I have just drawn a line like that. So any line, if you draw a line like this here, and if that measures 90 degrees, then AB is perpendicular to CD. Okay, so what, is tell, what it's telling you is, if the two lines are perpendicular, they are cutting at 90 degrees. If you measure this, to, this with a protractor, you would get 90 degrees. If you measure this with a protractor, you would get 90 degrees. So that's what needs to come in your mind when you see the word perpendicular, right? You need to draw a line that is 90 degrees to the other line but this one is telling us to draw a perpendicular from a point to a line so what we're going to do is we're going to take our ruler right and you and i've just drawn a straight line here any line any measurement you just draw a line across your paper and i've named it a b okay so just name it a b now i've just drawn any point in the middle here on the top and i've called it c so that's very simple. There's no measurements. You take your ruler. Please make sure your pencil is sharp and you have a ruler. You just draw a line there and you put a point. Now we're using a compass, right? So when we're doing geometric constructions, we don't use a protractor because then we're not proving it. We're not proving the construction, right? So you take your pencil, place it down flat on the table and align it and tighten the, the compass. Okay, once your compass is tight, Put the point of the compass, here's the point of the compass, right, onto the C and just draw a simple arc. Okay, so we're drawing an arc. You take your pencil and we've drawn an arc. Now what I need to do is I need to name the arc, right? So this point here, I'm calling it D this point where it's cutting the line AB and this point here I'm calling it E okay so that's my st the step now the next step is that I've put the pencil onto my point D right can you see here here's my point D so I'm looking for my point D and I just draw a small arc there right now I put my compass I'm holding the top of my compass. I put it on there. Okay, but we need these two to cross. I draw an arc there. And I need this one to, to cross over there. Okay, so now I'm going to name this point here F. I've got a point there. I'm going to name it F. Okay, now my third step would be to join C to F. Right? So I take my ruler and my pencil and I'm joining C to F. So now what I have done is if I take a protractor and if I measure this angle here, I need to get 90 degrees then I know my construction is accurate okay so this is different from yesterday what we did yesterday was let's just have a look at that one there you remember this one here constructing a perpendicular at a at a point on a line so what we did is we started on the line and then you had to draw the arcs and then join it down to the bottom right so we started with a perpendicular at a point on a line today we're doing from a point onto the line so it's very important to read your question when they give it to you in the test and then you have to do either one of them to draw a 90 degree angle right so for today uh, your homework would be to draw okay your homework would be draw a perpendicular from a point to a line okay 
then we're moving on to one more thing for today we're doing if you go to your textbook right we're doing constructing a 60 degree angle and a 30 degree angle right so we're on page 131 right we're on page 131 and now we're going to go through these ones here and those of you who are having trouble i will help you out right okay so constructing a 60 degree angle so what is it telling us to do now remember we've been drawing 90 degree angles now we need to draw a 60 degree angle what we eventually want to get to is drawing a 30 degree angle which is going to be revision of yesterday where we bisect the angle into two so we first want to draw a 60 degree angle then we're going to bisect it into two and get 30 degrees and 30 degrees. So the yesterday's video is going to show you how to bisect the angles. Today we're concentrating on how to draw a 60 degree angle, right? So you're going to draw a line segment AB. Can you see here? Okay, so a line segment means that we draw a point there and we draw a point there. So you're drawing a line like that and you're naming it AB. Now you place the compass point at point A, right, and draw an arc that cuts A, B, at C. So same thing, right, if we just use our compass there, you're putting your compass like that, and then you're drawing an arc like that, right, and then you're naming it C, okay. Without adjusting the compass width, place the compass point at C, right. So then you place your compass point at C, and then you draw an arc there. Okay, so then you've drawn an arc there, and then you're going to name that point D there, right? So what have we done? We put our compass point there, we drew an arc. Then we put our compass point there, and we've crossed the arc, and we've named it point D. Now we're going to join it, so from A to D, you draw a line AD and you've joined it together, right? And then if you measure this angle here with your protractor, if you've done it accurately without moving your uh, compass, this angle here will be equal to 60 degrees, right? So if you remember what we have to do, we have to check with our protractor whether this angle is 60 degrees or not, right? So. Now we've learned how to draw 60 degree angle. So look, in a test you need to remember, they're just gonna tell you, construct a 60 degree angle, okay? You have to learn the steps off by heart. You don't have to write all this down. You have to learn how to do it and remember it in your mind. So practice it in your books and then you do. You have to, you have to close the book and practice how to do it on your own, right? So here we've learned how to construct a 60 degree angle. Now the 30 degree angle is a revision of yesterday. So then what it says is you construct a 60 degree angle first. So we've done that in this procedure here. You ended up with the 60 degree angle. Now we need to bisect the 60 degree angle into 30 degrees. So you're gonna, you're gonna go to yesterday's vid uh, video about bisecting angles. You're gonna bisect this angle here, which means cutting it into half. Because why half? 30 is half of 60, okay? So we're gonna bisect it, so we're going to come to 30 degrees. So how do we get to a 30 degree angle? We first draw a 60 degree angle, that's the method of drawing it, and then we bisect the 60 degree angle to come to a 30 degree angle. So your homework for this part here, okay, so you're drawing here, I wrote your homework here for you. So you draw a perpendicular from a point, that was number one, Number two is you're going to construct a 60 degree angle and then you're going to construct a 30 degree angle. So when it tells you to construct a 30 degree angle, you're going to use that drawing, bisect it into 30 degrees. Okay, now another important thing in in, uh, in geometry, what I want you to learn how to note is DAB. Look how they've named the angle. Can you see? DAB, right? Can you see where the copy is? The copy is on the A, which is showing us that the angle is at A, but it's coming from point DAB. So we have to learn how to read all this here. We have to learn how to read the lines. AB is a line. 
C is a point, okay? And then we have to learn how to read an angle. D, A, C, sorry, D, A, B is the angle here. That's the line there, sorry. D, A, B is the angle. And the cup is showing us where we're going to find it, which point we're going to find the angle. Okay? Sakala.